Hello, boys. You all right? Yeah, mate. There he is. <laughs> are you uh, are you locked up in the shed? Yes, I am. Sorry, got a cough. Um, yeah, I've been to Port United since 1963, right. and that is the worst performance in all my life I've ever seen of them, including when we went down with Tommy. And uh, that was brilliant. We we actually played some good football, but that was awful. We played with seven men. And uh, fair play to Tottenham. They took advantage, and that's what it's about. But Rashford, I won't play him again. Hopeless. For, uh, Bruno, got to take the captaincy off him. He is crap. He's been rubbish this season. Absolute rubbish. <clears throat> Dallo, what is he doing? What, pl- what planet was he playing on? And uh, Xerxes, uh, he's not good enough. Sorry, he's not good enough. And we played with seven right from the beginning. Great goal, first goal. But Dallo, he, he sat down for a smoke somewhere. Where was he? <sighs> Jeez. I just look at the team, mate. You just look like you just... you got no mm. ideas. You mm. don't know what you're doing. You're lost. He's you're right. the lost football I, I, side out there. <laughs> Jamie, I cannot disagree with you. You're absolutely spot on. As much as I'd like to give you and Tony was quality from Everton, as much as I'd like to give you a yellow card occasionally, absolutely spot on. Yeah. Would you get rid of him, Cole? You just spin him off already, Ten Hag. Well, you, you know I've said all along that uh, that Rude ran this or he, he doesn't seem to be helping him very much and he's the man in waiting. I would get rid of him if he doesn't come up with two positive results in the next two games. And if he does... you got Porto on Thursday and then you yeah, got Villa away on Sunday. It, it, almost impossible. I right. mean, don't get me wrong. They, they are absolutely really difficult ones and you know that. And mm. Porto mm. away, they can, they can beat anybody Porto away. And Villa at home, it's a fortress. And it's going to be very difficult and... Uh, I heard somebody earlier on to say he'd lost the dressing room. I don't think he lost the dressing room. I don't think the dressing room knows what the hell they're doing. Mm. I mean, some of those players, honestly, I'd take Bruno captaincy off him straight away and not give him back. You know, he's, he's suspended now for the Villa game, so we're going to have to find another captain. The thing is, though, Cole, Bruno is a, is, is a top player. He's a not top football season, player. Jamie. So something's going... No, I, I, yeah, but... There's something wrong with in the squad. There's something wrong in the dressing room. There's something wrong with it. Because you can't tell me Martin is ain't a good player. Delitz not a good player. Kobe Manu ain't a good player. Rashford. Garnacho. Fernandez. You can't tell me these are not top players because they've shown top quality before. So something is going wrong where that football club is in the gutter again. And they painted over the cracks with the FA Cup win last season. But Something's got. To, it, it, I wouldn't be surprised if you got rid of Ten Hag and all of a sudden you see different. You, you see a different body language from the players. Yeah, yeah I think you're right there. It, it does seem. So I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I just do it. Just you, 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 what are you well, waiting for? It ain't going to get any better. Two games and international break. I think that's yeah, it. Yeah, I think I think that's where a lot of changes are made, aren't they? It gives them a little bit of breathing space between yeah. the last game. If things don't go well, I think it's inevitable. Inevitable. But then oh. who does come in? Is it Venice to Roy? Or are they going yeah. to... And I would say he gets a result against Porto, wins 1-0, right? Yeah. And then, you know, draws against Aston Villa, right? You're telling me Ten Hag keeps his job? Like, well, the, the, the games just get forgotten all the time. It's like he nicks a result well, from somewhere. Barnsley. Yeah, like Barnsley. And all of a sudden, oh, Man United are back. No. And it's like, he does oh. that well, actually. You know, do like, that. He gets Ten away with well. it. He gets, he, get, he gets people back on side... And then he dumps him in it again. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, how, how many times are you going to keep doing this? Like, you've surely, you've got to be like, right, we had to keep him in a job for the FA Cup win. Yeah. And now, we've got to move on, right? It hasn't worked. We're two years into it. There's still no identity. We don't know what football we're playing. There's no ideas. The players, you know, are, uh, the body language is gone. You know, and, and for me, the biggest alarm bell is Jaden Sancho, right? Jaden Sancho has left that football club Gone to Chelsea and looks like a completely different player. That rings alarm bells to me. That something's gone on at that football club where the players are not getting the best out of themselves because of whatever reason. Just, I think he's just, the manager. Just, just on that, you do so that the game after the international break, they got Brentford at home. So you often find that they want to give the new manager <laughs> a tap in, a little bit of an easy shot, right? Yeah, no game's easy. Vi- no, I'm not saying it is, and no disrespect to Brentford, but the point I'm making is, if you're going to give the new manager a little bit of a, a punt at it, if in this state is Van Nistelrooy, do you want Villa away, or do you want to wait two weeks and a Brentford at home? 
that might be going through their mind as well. Mm. So we'll see. Let's go to Remy, who's a Man United fan. Rem? All right, Remy. How's it going, boys? You all right? Rem, you phone us up quite a bit, and it's I feel like we're just banging our heads against the wall with, with Man United. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, mate. You know what it is, yeah? We got run off the park um, on the weekend, and I started thinking back to the first call I put in, where me and Carlton Palmer got into it about McTominay. Mm-hmm. And that game was screaming out for Scott McTominay, wasn't it, mate? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, screaming Legs, out for a lot of things, engines. isn't it? There's screaming there's out for things. someone who wants to play also, for Man United. But also, just the tact, the way they set up. Look, Spurs were good, right? But they, they made life easy for Spurs. So easy. You know, yeah, the goal, if you look at the equaliser, right? The, the, I don't know if you remember it last Thursday night against Twente, right? The, the, he makes run a run. Run through the middle of the pitch. Yeah. Runs through the middle of the pitch. Yeah. It's almost identical. Yeah, no. There's the run that Van der Ven makes. Yeah. yeah. How is yeah. someone allowed to run 50 yards with the ball from from a defensive position? Yeah, I mean, like, if you look at Eric Ten Hag, he's trying to blame it on, you know, Bruno Fernandes getting sent off. We were getting spun off the you pitch were. way before yeah, Bruno you were. You were. got sent off, mate. Yeah. And it's just like, um, you know, the writing's on the wall. Mm-hmm. Um, we probably will lose to Aston Villa in the league. Maybe we scrape the result in the Europa League, but it's just like, who do you bring in? Like, I'm happy. Well, no, I, I just wonder. I wonder whether Graham Potter being on on Sky Sports tonight, whether it's amazing how when a manager, yeah. when they when they want to put themselves out there, too big for I, I'm Potter. just saying, Jay. I'm just. I'm not saying he is. What I'm saying is, is it a coincidence that Graham Potter? All of a sudden, rocks up on our screens. Well, it always happens at this time of year, mate. When oh, no, you know, yeah. see teams struggling, oh, and then oh, look, oh, look, Grandpa, oh, look. Oh, Grandpa, I'm available. You know, yeah, his, his head appears out of nowhere. Thing, yeah. Just wonder, I mate. Just throw it out there, that's all. I said to a few of my boys today, I was like, "Look, right now, I'd even take Southgate. I just feel like it's become so <laughs> negative." Get it right, though. Right, really. You got to get this right. You can't you're, be the same. He's with Southgate, no, yeah. Rem, and 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 I don't think he's, you know, the Messiah. But I tell you what, he will do. He's defensive. Yeah, nice. You ain't going to have... Yeah, he will get the best out of some of the young players because mm. he's, he's shown yeah. that in the past. And it's going to make you hard to beat. Yeah. You know, like the 50-yard the the run through yeah. the middle of the pitch is outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening with Gareth Southgate. <laughs> the biggest issue that we have is we sign so many ex-Ajax and so many mm. ex-Dutch league players now. We need a manager who can really come in and sort of galvanise this. And it's like, I know Ruud van Nistelrooy had one or maybe two seasons at PSV, but he's not ready for the hot seat. And it's like, because Ten Hag has had free range on the transfers with the Glazers and with Ineos, yeah, it's like we've got so many players that like no other manager in their right frame of mind would sign. And it's like, if we do sack him... Well, no, Are we going to get a tune out of these players? Well, with that's why clubs go down the, the, you know, the head coach route, you know, and that's why they have directed the football. We buy the players, you pick the team. If you allow the manager to have too much control, when they do eventually leave, they leave behind their their fingerprints all over the squad, mm. and that's not that's not healthy. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy, Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.